The posterior approach to the sciatic nerve is performed using classic landmarks, posterior and superior iliac spine, greater trochanter, the coccyx, and the femur. The pudendal nerve rests three to four centimeters inside the sciatic nerve, both on the notch of the iliac bone. The trajectory of the sciatic nerve is marked over the skin. Its electrolocalization may be performed at several sites. Rapid and efficient anesthesia is obtained by injecting at two or more sites along its entire length. Motor fibers leaving the common trunk when stimulated flex the leg, semitendinosus, semimembranosus, and biceps, and the gluteal region, quadratus femoris gluteus. Stimulation of the fibers later forming part of the tibial nerve produces inversion and plantar flexion of the foot and toes since it supplies innervation to the posterior calf muscles concerned with these movements.